Today is Sunday, April 23rd. I need a cup. A cup? Pee into? Eamon and I have been sort of trying to get pregnant since October of 2022. You can take a test at any time of the day from the day you expect your period. Two days ago. When you are ready to test, remove the foil wrapper and take off <laughs> the cap. And this month we didn't try. So I don't know how this would even be possible. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold the color change tip pointing downwards in your urine stream. Um. <laughs> okay. Do you need a light or something? Oh, I did it. Yeah, you're pissing all over it. Nice. Well, I see you haven't got very much aim there. <laughs> um. A blue line must be present in the control window when you read your result. Just relax, baby. We have to wait three minutes. Please don't, please don't, Aaron. You have no idea what we're gonna say. <laughs> wait, don't freak out, Aaron. That can't be possible. What do you mean? That's very clear. That is very clearly pregnant. Pregnant. Looks the same. I have to, look how clear it is. Is you think it's because you peed on top of there? Yeah, yeah. I did it wrong. How is this? Have have we been thinking that I was ovulating middle of the month, but the whole time it was the beginning of the month, and that's why we hadn't been getting pregnant? And the one month we tried not to get pregnant, yeah, we pregnant, yeah. No. Does that mean she's pregnant? Mal, should we go get more tests? Yeah, go get more tests. How many more? I, I think what happened was I peed all over the stick, so it just thinks I'm pregnant. Doesn't because matter. That's not how it works, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how it works. No, because what about all my testing? Like, what about my cancer and stuff? Don't. I can't be happy, baby. I can't. Be. Also, what are you doing? Also, also, hey, no. Stop it. I'm gonna go get like three more of them. Okay. This thing gonna open? Oh my god, they're not open? Till 10? Oh, fuck. Oh, place is not open. Please take your bags. My freaking heart is beating through my chest. I I, um, I don't want to get too excited, but Beck, if you're watching this and this is the pregnancy video, you're going to be the best freaking mom. And I love you so much. Oh my word. Oh, it's hard for me not to speed. You got to pee again? No, not really, but I'll make it so. Good call, Mel. I'm We're not enjoying this at all. Like, honestly, I feel terrible. I know. Because I've had a mammogram and I need to have another one. It's okay. We're going to figure it out. You don't do mammograms if you're pregnant. You know? Baby, it's all meant to be. And it's all going to work out no matter what, okay? Okay. Like, I just thought the day I found out I'd be pregnant, I would be, like, so happy. And I don't feel happy. I'm I know. I'm really sad for the fetus if I have a baby in there. It's like, ugh. No blockage. So how does this puppy work? Do we read it or you just dip it in? Mm. You dip it in and then it automatically turns on? It's got like a water sensor? Three, four, how long? 20, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. When? This is, this is amazing. This is a beautiful thing. No, it it's is. not because I yes, have to go is. in for testing, Amy. Honey, let. Breathe in. Let. Breathe in, let. Let. I feel so sick to myself. Let. 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 Let.
Matt? Two to three weeks. Two to three weeks ago? How? Two to three weeks. I Get the f out. Apparently, I'm two to three weeks pregnant. So you guys did have sex. <laughs> We were, it's like, remember that time in the van? I'm like, I don't think so. Yeah, it's really broken. Yeah? Whoa. Total failure. Can you guys see that? <laughs> the other night was not a joke, guys. This is not a drill. We are pregnant. And I feel like I just wanted to sit here and say that out loud because I always imagined that when we found out we were pregnant, I would be so... Like, I'd be like all the girls I watched on YouTube who were like, oh my gosh, and like crying, and I've had no emotion so far. Yeah. I went through breast cancer treatment for an entire year, chemotherapy, surgeries, radiation, and I'm now in the midst of a, a mammogram coming back that showed some questionable stuff and going in for another mammogram and a biopsy. So we're really just floating in this weird space of... Of course, we're excited that we can even get pregnant. That's such a gift. That was such an unknown. That's why we went through fertility treatment, which was a whole other side of the cancer. cancer journey. It's also scary to get the excited this early on because I have so many girlfriends who have been through miscarriages. I know how common that is. So it's just this I didn't know how common thing. that is. One in three, first time pregnancies. That's crazy. Yeah. We're super thrilled that we're pregnant. We were trying to get pregnant. We want to loop in our family and friends, let them know. But most importantly, I think it's really important that I talk to my doctors because I, I'm up at night thinking about this world in which I have cancer again and we need to terminate this pregnancy. And that is just heavy, heavy stuff. So I've tried contacting my doctor. Hopefully we'll hear back from him. And I guess you're along for the journey. Congratulations. That's a buddy. lot, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired just thinking oh, about yeah. this. Hopefully Dr. K calls back. And what about the fact that I'm pregnant? Like, we were we were really not trying this month, so we were super shocked because I wanted to have my mammogram and not have any issues with, like, a fetus or anything. And so I just, yeah. Am I okay to go for this, this next step and just keep going until we know more? Obviously, I wouldn't recommend anything right now. Tell them you're pregnant, right? The yeah. The thing is, now they know where to look for. Yeah. And then it's, it'll be mostly an ultrasound. Oh, right. okay. But Try the, for months. Yeah, this is also a thing to celebrate, right, Dr. <laughs> K? Like, the fact that she got <laughs> pregnant is amazing. You know, life is turning out to become a movie, let me tell you. <laughs> it is a movie. You subscribe online. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just uh, enjoy the moment. <laughs> find cancer for sure right so you guys are you guys are certainly um more more mature than what your ages would would, would let anybody to believe because of what you've already been through um so just keep that going on a positive front okay okay thanks doc, thanks, doc. Right. okay stay strong okay, okay. Bye. Bye, bye bye that's good yeah it's good <laughs> it's good <laughs> Yeah, I feel better about that. And I feel better that he wasn't like, go abort the baby because you need to get this mammogram, you know? Yes. That would have been a different evening. Yeah. Oh, Bob, we got some exciting news. Oh. We are launching a new flavor for Habit. Woo! Oh, and you're a grandfather. No way. Whoa. That is news, man! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Kind of so kind of what? Oh! oh my God. Congratulations! Oh my God! 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 Oh all right, say one, two, three, you're gonna be grandparents. 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 Yay! You're gonna be grandparents. Okay. Are you serious? What? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! 
9.30 in the morning. Beck decides she wants salt and vinegar chips. I'd just like to clarify, it's not even a want, it's an absolute need. She says she needs salt and vinegar chips. So that's what we're making. Some more chips, my liege. I'd get working on another batch if I tell you that. These <laughs> ones are so good. <laughs> oh, vinegary. This is scary because we're only on week five, baby. What's going to happen? It is 8.17 a.m. And I can't even explain the craving I have for this pickle. So good. I think I'm finally coming around to the idea that I'm growing a fetus and a placenta. and That just takes it out of you. I also have to pee like all the time. And clearly I already have baby brain, apparently. Still ran. Big boy. Amen. I'm in this new horrible pattern of sleeping really poorly. Like I can fall asleep okay. And then middle of the night, boom, I'm awake. I feel super nauseous and just uncomfortable. So I came into the other bedroom last night to let Eamon sleep and... It's hard for me to know what is the stress of my upcoming mammogram and all of that news. You can tell by the quiver in my voice there that obviously that's stressing me out. Or if it's pregnancy related. Which I'm still in shock about. And I'm really hopeful that everything goes okay on Friday so that I can start being excited about this pregnancy. It's a lot. You want to go outside? Sure does, Papa. Sure does. Beck has ordered a special drink. Uh, we don't really carry special drinks, but I have an idea. So that's what you would call just a regular hot brew method where you would steep it for two minutes then try and cool it down. You can also cold brew it, which is basically cold water with tea in the fridge, but that takes like 24 hours. But if you have time, that's the best way to do iced tea. <laughs> Maple syrup. We're gonna cook that down for 15 minutes. I would say that qualifies as a special drink. What on? Peach black tea. Whoa, buddy. Water is just not hitting these days. This looks good, thank you. Buddy. <laughs> Have you tried it? No. That's unbelievable. But seriously, you're gonna be obsessed. I hope not, that took me an hour. <laughs> The day before, I'm scheduled to go back in for my mammogram and biopsy. She actually told me that it's a mammogram guided biopsy. So I think that might mean like based on the mammogram and the imaging. Anyways, I've told her I'm pregnant. I still forget every time I say that. And Hi, Rebecca. Hi. There's not, not really anything you need to do. Okay. Other than I'll, I'll let the text know. Yeah. Um, and they'll probably just uh, do a lead protection. Good morning. Today is May 5th. I have waited three weeks to go in for my second round of imaging and my biopsy. I'm taking it as a sign. We haven't seen the sun in at least a week and a half, and it's sunny today. Thanks, Lee. I waited until I was a little more composed to film this. I want you to know that I just had a full-on breakdown, like crying for an hour. I had a really negative 
experience in there getting my biopsy. We skipped the mammogram to protect the baby and went straight to the biopsy and that was extremely triggering for me. The last biopsy I had is what led me down this whole like cancer diagnosis path. Essentially a biopsy takes tissue from the area in question, so from the tumor, but you don't have a top on and you're so exposed and vulnerable and you just feel so scared. And there's like five people in the room just manhandling you and I know it's their job and that's not the problem. It's just, it was just really triggering for me. And on top of that, when the radiologist came into the room, she looked me dead in the eyes and said, this is not a good time to be pregnant. <sighs> Which like, sort of affirmed everything I'm so terrified of at the moment and did not make me feel good at all. So then I had to proceed through this biopsy, like holding back the tears because <laughs> She was behaving as though I'd purposely just gotten pregnant knowing that I was going through cancer again or something and that I didn't have my oncologist guiding me the whole way and telling me it was okay to, to become pregnant. I'm just over being a patient and I'm ready to just be pregnant and just get to enjoy being pregnant. I feel really, really tired. I'm really sad. Buddy? Yeah. How you doing? I'm so bad today, buddy. You're not feeling well? I tried to eat beans on toast and I literally puked in my mouth. Yikes. What are you doing? I'm just playing around in the basement. Anybody who's going through what you've been through and you're going through right now is going to be emotional wreck. So don't beat yourself up. You're doing good. You okay, buddy? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am currently seven weeks pregnant in a little bit, and I've still been waiting on the call back about what's going on in here. But for the first time, I really feel like they're going to call me with positive news. I just feel it. I've been so down and so open to receiving terrible news. And all of a sudden I woke up and I like can picture the call. Like I can feel it. Dr. K, you weren't going to wait to give me the news? <laughs> he didn't know you weren't here. It's good news? It's good news. Oh, no. It's okay, no I'm saying that. We don't need to pursue this any further. Just focus on the pregnancy. Okay, thank you so, right. so, so much, Dr. Okay, K. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Okay. K. Wow. That's so good. Beck's, Beck's not here, but I just wanted to tell you that she's pregnant. Whoa. <laughs> Congratulations! That's awesome. You guys are going to be uh, aunt and uncles. To write up a song wow. just anyone I, I was always the one. So we're we're working on a new video where I'm gonna try and get in the best shape of my life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. No. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Three, two, one. You've got the uh, the dad stash going, buddy. All you need now is one of these. We are so. She's like super pregnant. Like she's peed on like ten of these now, and they go blue like right away. Like usually you have to wait three minutes. It's like boom. <laughs> Do you know what that is? Aunt? You're gonna be an aunt. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my god, that's No, this is the size of our baby. <laughs> Beck's pregnant. No fucking way. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god, congratulations! I am so 
seven weeks, three days pregnant. And finally, finally, I've had a healthy craving. Greek salad for breakfast. <laughs> I've been wanting chips and all the unhealthy things, so at least. Is it hitting the spot? It's really hitting the spot. Nice. She thought she wanted grapefruit. We're going a different direction. We don't charge extra for last minute changes. <laughs> Cheers to this season of life of Eamon and I bringing babies into this world. Ah! <laughs> Not only are we bringing a human baby in, but just a few months ago, we relaunched our tea company with a new brand, Habit. We have six loose leaf tea buns and matcha, all certified organic, and they are just as delicious hot as they are iced. I'm currently drinking the lavender mint chamomile as an iced tea. It's so refreshing. It's perfect for summer. I'm just keeping it classic, like the black tea with a splash of oat milk. Here's what the people are saying. And if you guys wanna check out Habit, we are doing something really, really special just for the next 48 hours. Basically, we're doing a buy two, get one. All you need to do is use the code bundle of joy at checkout and automatically your third bag or tin will be deducted off the price. So head to drinkhabit.com and use code bundle of joy when you buy two, you're gonna get one free for the next 48 hours. Thanks you guys, we love you, we appreciate your support. According to my app, I am eight weeks pregnant today, but because it's been such a bumpy ride, I haven't really embraced it, and I was just in the shower, and I was feeling like, am I pregnant? Like, ever since I got the good news with the no cancer found in the biopsy, I've been feeling a lot less anxious but also a lot less nauseous. I remembered that the ovulation sticks I bought had a pregnancy test like as a bonus and I just thought like why not take a pregnancy test. Am I one of those crazy people? I don't know. Any moms or moms to be or women trying to get pregnant out there done this? I didn't read the instructions on it but oh I reckon that's pregnant. Well that's good news. That's really good news. Hey, buddy. Hi, Stinker. You still pretty sure you'd like to be a dad? <laughs> still pregnant? Still pregnant. All right. <laughs> All right. Ew, I peed on that. What do you think of the trap door? Are you a big stinker? Big stinker. So. I'm out of breath though. <laughs> um, in terms of like seeing a baby bump, I'm just kind of bloated, but definitely not seeing anything. I'm too early for that, but I think it's time we start to embrace this pregnancy. Hopefully <laughs> it all goes well from here. What do you think about being a big brother? I think he's gonna be in for a rude awakening. Today is a super exciting day. I am nine weeks pregnant and headed in for my very first ultrasound. I was saying to my mom and my sister today that it feels very exciting to be going to the hospital for something good and fun and different. <laughs> I know today's image can show all sorts of things and I'm not naive to that, but I'm feeling very hopeful. As you guys will have seen by now, Eamon flew out to England to do a little flight boarding with Nate and Louie. So my parents are taking me into Kingston for my first ultrasound today. Shout out to my parents. Hey. Hey, back. <laughs> and uh, my mom's on my case because you have to have a full bladder for this ultrasound. So I have about an hour drive and we're going to be drinking this whole bottle. And Beck's dad is making sure he hits no bones. Yeah, thank you, dad. <laughs> So this was my very full bladder. She said I had a very full bladder. This is my uterus. And then that's the baby. Little peanuts the size of an olive. <laughs> Need to 
baby Neo. Is he happy? He looks confused, but not 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 mad. You're learning all the tricks, hey Boo. It's an early one. My buddy's sleepy. Being pregnant on a flight comes with a whole new whack of smells and aversions. That was great fun. The Santo is for arrival. I almost threw up in the car. I feel like my bangs kind of look like Justin Bieber, like they're trying to like curve. So we're going to drive a little further up into Germany. <laughs> Continue the journey, drive a little bit into... It's just that I think we can do a little better. So we're gonna journey into... <sighs> journey into Germany, that's the problem. Honestly, pregnancy brain is so real, I can't even speak. <laughs> Is that good? Tip number one when cooking together, never start hungry, which sounds like really crazy, like Beck, you're gonna eat in two seconds. See what I did there? That's tip number two. Start by giving your fiance, wife, pregnant mom a chippy first. They are pregnant, they don't know yet. Oh, really? You guys didn't know that. <laughs> Em and I just watched a really moving video on YouTube. It was Yes Theories seeing his family and reuniting. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm gonna become a mom and then I start thinking about like if my kid was like doing something and like just <laughs> I cried the entire video <laughs> and I've been waiting for the hormones to really kick in and I'm like almost at my the end of the first trimester. I mean I've probably been hormonal from your perspective, but like pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> pretty manageable from mine. And today it's just like. <laughs> it was a beautiful movie. It was beautiful. Yeah. And now that we're gonna be parents, like, I just think of like loving your kid unconditionally mm. and like seeing his dad, like, be so proud of him now. But like, he had to go and prove himself. Mm. Like, I don't want our kid to have to. Our kid's never gonna have to prove himself because I already love him. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but love for you, buddy. Nothing but love. <laughs> Is this an actual onion? No. No, it's not. Yeah, if you let it grow, that turns into this. No, it looks really similar, but is that the same species? Yes, same species. <laughs> Should I just lie down? Yeah. All right. Talk but to you your therapist about that. Huh? Talk to your therapist about that. You talk to your better health therapist about that. No, I do. Sure. I talk about you more than you'd want to you know. Me back with my YouTube success. No, no. No! <laughs> it's not true. I have film and that's abuse. Ow! Burger King has gone plant-based. Okay. You know you're pregnant when you need a side of pickles this big. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. I took all the pickles they gave me and I moved it onto my two bites so far. <laughs> I'm really not exaggerating. Also, if anyone's been through pregnancy, did you find that like you felt so hungry and like you were gonna throw up if you didn't eat and then you'd take a bite of something and you're like, I'm not really that hungry? You've been doing that me? for weeks. Yeah, like I'm not hungry anymore, but I love pickles. Okay, can I eat now? Yeah, yeah. You want another noodle? I feel so sick right now. Are you gonna throw up? Uh, why is your chewing like at an all-time high as well? It's just one for me, one for you. Mm. It's a team. Okay, thank you for this. Oh, this is the worst I've felt. Do you think it's Burger King or do you think it's the pregnancy? Pregnancy. At least our child won't need to take drama classes. I so I wish you. you could be pregnant. You. You're such you. a dick. I love you. Whatever. I love you, bye. Thank you.
Thank you. It is Monday, June 12th. My best friend gets married in a couple of days on Friday. And my sister had the really smart idea of reminding me to try my dress on. I don't think it fits. Oh, it just hurts. Just don't breathe it in. Well, how, why? Breathe out. <sighs> there we go. So hold that. Oh, it feels like I'm going to pinch my skin with that. Yeah, I don't think that's going to run. Okay, what if I hold that? Hold it down. Hold this part down. What, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there you go. It's okay, so it's, it's actually... But does it look too tight in the no. back? It doesn't feel... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't think I should wear this. I think you just need something <laughs> up a little bit there. It's very typical for women's breasts to grow. Obviously, you are going to have milk for your baby. Mm -hmm. But I have had... doesn't even look that much bigger in the camera. Oh, that's good. Yeah. In real life, it's silly. Double. I... I don't think my right breast is growing at all and not only is it not growing but I've had a bunch of surgery so it's like half breast whereas my left is like feels like it's popping it's a beauty dress though I don't know and then also does it show that I'm pregnant too much like you can definitely tell that I have yeah, a bump for sure it's so cute though <laughs> I love it I guess this is me showing you my 13 week bump I love the bump bump life Wait, whose bump is bigger you growing in solidarity with me? Yep. Take a stand. Well, also, it's it's late at night, so my bump gets big at night. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I was also able to squeeze into my dress the day of the wedding. It was such a magical day. I was the officiant, and my best friend got married. Just the best. Um, We're here for my ultrasound, though. 13 weeks. It's nice to get to the hospital not in the cancer ring. I know. So today we're here for my 13 week ultrasound. They do a fetal R. assessment, our fetal assessment, blood work, and I get to see the baby. We get to see the baby. Feeling very full, because you gotta come bloated and full. It's lots of water. Rebecca Maroney. <laughs> this makes it feel real. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited. We've got some good news. <laughs> There's a baby. It looks very healthy. And... We saw the heart beating. Like, genuinely saw it beating. The baby was moving. I don't think I realized, like, you'd be able to see all that. Like, it the heartbeat. It's very exciting. It's Hands, ticking. It's fingers. ticking away quick. We're having a baby! <laughs> what are we nuts. doing next week? Well, I'll be growing the baby. What will you be doing? Oh. Posty! Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Just took a screenshot of the video. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go get off real quick with this. This is big shit. <laughs> There's no turning back now, boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not this way. Oh my god. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Good for you. I'm just having a baby. <laughs> I'm 14 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> We're due on December Christmas. December 23rd. 